Hello and welcome to the third devlog for Endless Drift. I've been working on polishing the game, so let's look at what I've done since the last video. I started by trying to make hitting the walls feel more impactful. To do this, I added in some screen shake. I already had a way I could measure how hard the car crashes into the walls, so I decided to use that to set the amount of screen shake. So if you go headfirst into a wall, the screen's going to shake a lot more than if you just tap it. I also wanted to get rid of the gray abyss of a background, so I started working on a system to loop the background. In endless runner type games, this is usually pretty easy since the player doesn't actually move. They stay in one spot and the environment moves around them. But in my case, the environment isn't moving and I'm actually moving the car. So I needed a way to determine when I spawn a new background so it always covers the entire view area. What I did is add a trigger on each side of the background segments, so if you get close enough to any edge, it'll spawn a new background attached to that edge. At first I was having a lot of trouble with this because I would get multiple backgrounds spawning in the same spot, and sometimes it wouldn't spawn one when I needed it. This was especially a problem if you drive off the corner of one background, since I didn't have a way to spawn a new one diagonally. I added a check-in to make sure there isn't already a background in the position that I'm trying to spawn a new one. This means that I didn't have to worry about spawning duplicate backgrounds anymore, which made it a lot easier to make sure that all of the backgrounds I needed spawned in. After I got the background spawning in properly, I added a texture to get a little bit more color in the game. Then I went and started working on the main menu. I created these simple buttons for now, and I think I'll end up changing them but my artistic abilities will make the final decision for that. The only thing missing from the game now was some sound, so I started by adding in a music manager that plays songs from a list at random. I also added in a volume slider to go with it, so that I can adjust it to make it easier to hear other sounds when I start working on them. Speaking of which, I also started adding in some sound effects, so now I have an idle engine sound before the game starts, and while you're playing the game, there's an engine sound, drifting sounds, and a crash sound. I also added in a volume slider for the sound effects. I'll end up moving both the volume sliders into a settings menu, but I want to look into how I can make some custom sprites for the sliders while I'm working on that. That's all for this devlog, and I think the next devlog is going to be the last for this game, if I can finish everything by then. It could be a while before it comes out, because there's a couple of tutorials I want to work on too. I'll still be updating the game on itch though, so be sure to check it out with the link in the description. And if you haven't already, hit the like button and be sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.